Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first official episode of my new Ken series. So we're basically picking up right where we left off. So we do still have the welcome wagon here. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and talk to them a little bit more because I do remember um, playing in the with the horse ranch pack for the, fir the first time. I think it was Roberto Crinkle Tabo's the Mysterious Rancher, and we just didn't have a full on relationship with the guy. I couldn't figure out when he showed up in town in order to kind of like sell nectar to and everything like that. So I did watch a few other gameplays and also read a couple things to just kind of figure it out because it honestly does say it on one of the uh, boards. Uh, on the times or the days that he shows up in town so we most likely will go ahead and utilize that a lot more so but let's actually make some friends <laughs> ask about longevity huh <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's do some small talk here and ask him about his day why is everybody frozen? And then you have Don Gooseman out here on the rocking chair reminiscing. I forgot that elders can actually do that. It's actually really cute. Uh -huh. So let's get um, Ailey here to actually do a howdy introduction as well. What's going on here, y'all? Ask what well, happened. <laughs> do I need to reset you? <laughs> Reset. Reset. Okay. Ooh. Not things messing up. Okay. <laughs> let's start this over. Okay. Let's just get him to talk to him. And he also wants to talk to his father. Which I think is pretty... Pretty accurate. I mean, I feel like he hasn't really chatted with his dad since they moved in to this uh, old ranch here. So we probably will go ahead and do that for uh, Eli. But I do want to get to know a lot of these sims that come in this town a little bit more. I definitely didn't get to do that the first time. What is he talking to us about? Are we asking him a question? <laughs> Let's ask him for some ranching tips. This is also our first time running our own ranch. What's this? Sage advice on money. Receiving life lesson on money. That seemed like some very good financial advice. Just might help Eli on his life journey. That's actually really nice. So have you hosted a ranch animal day yet on your ranch? It's a great way to make friends. Give your animals some social interaction. Make some extra simoleons. No, I have not. But we did do, like, a ranch party uh, before. So the animal day we definitely haven't done. Let's check on Ailey here. <laughs> she is just chatting it up with John. Like, look at their relationship already. <laughs> we should probably go walk him again. Well, thank you for coming by. Not him drinking bottle of nectar in my house like that. <laughs> But Ailey actually wants to take a nap and she wants to make something greater than poor quality. I will actually go ahead and get her to take a nap while um, Eli just kind of scopes out the house a little bit more and then kind of makes a plan for himself. So we are in the fall season, so I do kind of want him to get started on growing some things if we can. So I will go ahead and let him purchase some seeds and we'll do um i thought i was able to purchase like seasonal seeds here but let's see what kind of vegetables we can get uh fruits and herbs and we'll start from there maybe we'll get something worth a while <laughs> that can actually grow this season okay great some mushrooms we can grow celery also grow some uh, red bell peppers and then we can't oh no we can grow basil and we have an apple so we can grow that too we can actually grow a couple of things for the season so we didn't get much of a relationship 
with either of these sims but it is nice to actually get to start to know some of these sims because i mean they are new to town i will say that uh definitely don and roberto actually did know uh eli's grandfather so you know there is a little bit of history there but not too much Maybe if we can actually chat with our dad this oh, way. Lisa. What does, uh... Oh, hello? <laughs> yeah. Not him calling us when we're already calling him. Hey, Eli, I'm in town for a while, and I was wondering if I could stay at your place for a few days. Oh, well, we don't have an extra bed, but you can, and that's actually pretty perfect because... Oh. This will be his, well, not his first time. This won't be Colson's first time at the ranch. He has been on his uh, dad's ranch a couple of times, but not for very long. But welcome. Yeah, just leave that right there. That's absolutely fine. Let's just get off the phone with him because he's here. <laughs> Let's welcome him. So that works out pretty well. Uh, so our dad is here. And we'll chat it up with him. Maybe he can actually help us with the ranch a little bit. So let's actually um, ask Colson to help out. Because Colson has a little bit of experience when it comes to uh, being on the ranch. Because he did help his dad back in the day. And perfect. I actually completed that for us. But since Colson is here, he did actually, like, he's talking to Eli about running the ranch. And he was like, so you remember how your grandfather would tell you that he would actually make his own nectar? And then Eli's like, yeah, I actually did see the nectar making, nectar making station out back. I haven't tested out anything yet. I don't really have any ingredients to start. But, I mean, we did get some, some apples, so we will actually plant some apple trees. We're gonna have uh, Ailey come out here and welcome Colson as well. And then Colson's just like, well, have you actually looked at the storage for the nectar? Like there might be something old in there. Eli's like, I highly doubt anything is left in there, but we are going to have him go out here. And when he does arrive out here, he does actually see one bottle of nectar in the storage rack. So we open this, we do see some grape nectar and it is finely aged. This is a very, very old bottle that has been here for quite a while. And it is worth a little over 2,000 simoleons. So Eli is kind of, you know, on the fence about whether he should actually sell this in order to get, you know, more of a little nesting egg to start this ranch out and get it back on its feet or not. Or if he should just keep the bottle for... You know, like, a little memento. Like, this is the last bottle of nectar that my grandfather made uh, that actually has his name on it, something that he actually put hard work into, like his own craft. So Eli will probably keep it. And just for, like, just a cute little keepsake. He'll keep it at the bottom of the rack here. And anything else that we make during this journey... I will definitely store in there. Listen to Americana music. How about you talk to Colson a little bit more? Let's actually um give him a hug. Ailey does have a good relationship with Colson, uh, her grandfather. Um, I mean, he was there in her life for... Hello? Are you back, <laughs> sir? <laughs> I think Ailey actually already became like, what is this? You already made friends with Don. But let's get, um, let's actually get Eli to plant some things out here from the get go. So we'll plant some mushrooms. And how much were chickens? Can we purchase some chickens? All right, the roosters are 200. The hens are 150. I think we we might actually do that a little bit later. Ailey should probably go ahead and do her homework though. 
because <laughs> she will be starting school. It's currently Saturday, so she doesn't have it until Monday. But we'll make this plot mushrooms. And then we'll definitely get some apples growing. So then we can definitely start making apple nectar. And then I think in this plot, maybe we'll start some bell peppers. All right, dad came out to talk to us again. <laughs> I have no idea where he's going to sleep. I mean, he might actually steal one of our beds. He could oh, sleep on the couch kids, if he wanted to. I honestly <laughs> wish that was like an actual thing. Like I know you could nap on the couch, but to allow your Sims to like full on sleep on a couch would actually be really nice. Especially with the stay over feature. Like if you don't have an extra bed, you know, nobody has any uh, sleeping bags or anything. I feel like having the ability to actually sleep on the couch would be really nice. Let's finish planting these bell peppers. We're working on his gardening skill. I'm not going to give Eli a full on career because we will be making simoleons off of our yeah. produce and our nectar. But I am glad our dad is here. <laughs> Just for like some like real life support um, with our first time running a ranch. Are we gonna grow raspberries too? Huh, was raspberry? I know you could do fruit nectar. So growing some raspberries actually wouldn't be too bad. This is going really great. <laughs> Most things don't work out right away in The Sims. Uh, but we will actually have to make some dinner, and I have no idea what we're going to make. Oh, thanks, Dad. Oh. oh, my gosh. We'll get Ailey to go ahead and take a bubble bath. We'll finish planting this, and then we do have to go ahead and make something for the family. I have no idea what we're going to make. <laughs> um, how about we do... Should we do... Maybe we'll make some tomato soup. The chickens will probably be the only, like, full-on animals that we'll have on here. Um, I, I'm not sure if I really want to get, like, any mini goats or sheep but i definitely want to get them a horse are you mixing that in the sink <laughs> okay all right so ailey's almost done her bath she has an achy mouth so she's gonna have to go to the dentist oh my goodness so i'm wondering if um it might be a nice time to head into the town i did add some updated lots uh to this town here so I added like a really nice uh, little ranch style restaurant and then I upgraded the bar, but I think the way that it's built, it looks like multiple buildings next to each other. So I think that would actually be pretty nice. Let's come get some tomato soup. I do not have a hamper, but I do have the wash bin. <laughs> so we'll have to most likely wash some clothes hopefully it's not going to rain tomorrow and it is of course it is all right so it'll be a rainy day tomorrow so we won't be able to put the clothes out to dry fully let's see what did he oh are you washing clothes just as i said that <laughs> okay well thanks dad <laughs> the potato toy cracks me up with the googly eyes like look at it <laughs> This is so cute. This is such a vibe. Look at this. Nice starry night. Out on the ranch. I still love the vibes of this, this new world. It's so cozy, but like... I don't know. Like, it's... it's it gives off a... A better feeling when you're like starting out new um oh here's the rain okay stop okay <laughs> should we give him resident keys I feel like he should already have a pair and he can come over whenever but he should definitely have a pair of house keys 
because this was his dad's ranch so we'll definitely give that to him I do need you to get out the rain though <laughs> Cole said please and in the morning we'll take a look at the plants oh no oh she's scared of the dark oh my god and scared of the monster under the bed can you like try to talk to the monster no don't wake up your dad <laughs> no Ailey <laughs> he really needs to sleep hun keep trying to talk to the monster under the bed go back to sleep Eli <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> He can't even sleep. Okay, okay. Uh, spray the monster under the bed. <laughs> like, my goodness, Ailey, calm down. <laughs> Please. And then go ahead and just take a panic poop. Yeah, go do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he made himself a grilled cheese. Ooh, it is poor quality, Colson. Where did you get chicken nuggets from? And they're also poor quality. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Calls it please. But since, um, since its dad is here, I think it would actually be really nice for them to go into town and probably check out that restaurant just for a nice family dinner tonight. All right, so I got them a laundry hamper. It's this box right here. <laughs> The game is lagging again. So that came uh, with this CC pack, too. So can we just, like... Ooh, we got wet clothes. <laughs> Let's add those all in there. And we'll probably have Eli... Ooh, what happened to my door? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Family dynamic jokesters. Eli and Colson are jokesters. Um, I don't really see that for them, to be honest. And I don't necessarily, I mean, Colson is probably more supportive than he is, uh, you know, a jokester with his son. Even though y'all really over here doing these jokes. I think we'll have just some uh, eggs and toast. Hopefully you don't burn the house down. Amazing. Yeah, he has, what is his cooking? Uh -huh. Level one. It's almost level two. I really hope he doesn't start a fire. <laughs> that is not what we need to happen right now. Okay, perfect. Cooking level two. So far, so good. Eggs are sticking to the pan. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my god, call the fire department! Oh my gosh, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 Extinguish shell. God, I spoke too soon. Oh, how'd we get that much? I don't think I've ever gotten that much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, now we gotta replace some stuff. We can't even afford to replace. Oh my gosh. This is. <laughs> this is a time. Hmm. <laughs> Where did y'all even. Okay. All the way out there in the rain. Okay, great. I guess we're gonna have some leftovers. <laughs> Until we can maybe. Uh, oh, we got fruit salad left. Yeah, we'll just eat that. And so we can um, afford to replace our stove here. Ailey, how about you go ahead and eat some fruit salad as well? We were almost there. He just had to make the eggs. And we would have been fine. And he just leveled up, so that's insane. Now you have a fear of fire. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. We'll go take a go take a bath. Let's we'll take a quick bath. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I do still want to plant 
some apple trees. And I'm wondering about where I want to plant them. I think one over here would be pretty nice. We might actually plant one over here. Yeah, I, I think I do see uh, Alien Coulson being jokesters rather than Eli and Coulson. I mean, that is his only granddaughter. And he does have a relatively close relationship with her. Alright, so we'll plant that. And then I think I'll put... How many do we need to actually make nectar? Three apples? Okay, so I'll plant another apple tree over here. And then we'll use three of these to start our own nectar bottle here. Put these mushrooms in here. And we do have a little bit of money, so maybe we'll we'll actually go ahead and purchase some chickens. So we'll get a brown who a rooster and a white hen for now. So that's three fifty, and that way, Ailey can actually do something here, so she can scatter some feed and get to know the chickens a little bit. And that way, we'll actually have some eggs. And then let's go ahead and get her to tell chicken about. Honey smells. <laughs> Too cute. Oh. <laughs> Talk like chicky to chick chick. <laughs> oh my god, they like us. <laughs> what should we name these chickens, guys? Like. Uh, leave some name suggestions in the comments. So we have a rooster and a hen. So we do need two names. Let me just see what they probably give us as random names. Amelia and Willie. <laughs> so if you like Amelia and Willie, let me know. But if you have some name suggestions, just leave a comment down below. But we will get Ailey to have um, a relationship with some of these chickens and definitely any kind of other farm animals that we might get. I don't think we'll get a whole lot though. I'm definitely not yet in our cottage living era, but I might actually save that for maybe another Let's Play because I did download some mods where you can have uh, additional animals on your farm. So that might come at a later date. But let's go ahead and start getting our own bottle of nectar. Those boots though. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know how to fix that, but I'm gonna probably figure it out. Oh, okay. Actually, before you do that, let's maybe get you to uh, book a distance appointment. And then she can definitely go to that and see what is going on. <laughs> so it might actually call her in a bit. And then later on for tonight, we'll actually go ahead and go out to uh, that restaurant with the family. Hopefully, Colson can actually join us. If not, it might just be a really nice uh, daddy-daughter outing. Especially to just, like, see some more of the residents. So, we'll go now. No, we won't leave you sick leave. And uh, maybe she'll... Should she go? No, she'll just go by herself real quick. <laughs> Eli's over here making nectar. <laughs> She'll be fine. All right, so our apple nectar is done. We'll see what kind of quality that is. It is poor quality, of course. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and um, just store that in there. And then I kind of want to go ahead and put something else in this plot here. So I think we can just do some celery maybe. Let's plant this celery. Just so we can have a lot of different uh, fruits and veggies. And then maybe later on down the road it won't cost us, it'll cost us like next to nothing to actually make dentists. Ooh, not dentists <laughs> actually make dinner and, and meals and things like that. So, Ailey's teeth aren't coming in quite straight. The dentist strongly recommends braces. So she get braces. The dentist can put them in today. 
Ooh, how much is that going to cost us? I don't remember. Oh my god, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and get her braces. I don't remember how much that is, but I guess we'll figure it out when she gets home. <laughs> oh, Ailey. <laughs> okay, so 90, 90 is not bad. Did you get braces? Let me see, Ailey. <laughs> Did they put braces on you? <laughs> she got gassy giggles from uh, local anesthesia. Oh my gosh. I can't tell. But let's go ahead and finish some extra credit work for you. And then we are planning to get your dad to go down here. It's just so I can have a general idea as to like when he actually shows up. Because I swear, when I look at this the first time, I don't, I don't, I swear he wasn't here. But anyway, as wise as he is mysterious, Roberto Crinkletop is an expert in ranching and nectar making. Find him around Bits and Bales Mercantile in New Appaloosa Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a few hours around high noon. Okay, perfect. So Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we could definitely see what he probably uh, has in store for us. But it is uh, six o'clock. So, shoot, here's our house. <laughs> so it is six o'clock. So we most likely will go ahead and get the family all together and head out to the restaurant. All right, and here we are. This lot is called the Cozy Corner Steakhouse. And I will put this uh, gallery ID and the description below. So we are going to go ahead and mosey on in over here. And let's see. No, I think we'll get this table. I love the way this looks, though. <laughs> Cozy Corner Steakhouse. This is super cute. We got bathrooms back here. We got like a full on kitchen back here, which is really nice. Look at their outfits. Oh my gosh. I love that. And then it has an upstairs, so you have more seating up here and a lot more like decor as well. This is so cute. All right, let's go ahead and sit. Not you lighting that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna see what is on the menu here. Well, let's um express desire to nap. Ailey, please. Oh my gosh. He's still really tense about that fire. All right, let's go ahead and order for the table. Let's see what they have on this menu. All right. Lots of different drinks here. <laughs> a lot of different choices. So we actually have a good amount of appetizers here as well. And then for some main courses, a good amount of main courses too, and desserts. So this is actually really nice. Uh, well, we can't come here and not get a steak. So I think... Colson and Eli are going to get the steaks. And then for Ailey, we might actually get her a, um, should she get like Franken beans? <laughs> I think she'll get some Franken beans. And then in terms of some drinks, I think Colson's going to get a rum and coke. And then. Eli is just going to get some barley wine ale. And then Ailey's just going to get a lemonade. This is too cute. I'm really loving like their <laughs> the outfits for the uh, waitresses and waiters. And then look at the host outfit. <laughs> Not Hector Laurent. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the hay on the floor. <laughs> I love 
love it. Hopefully it won't take too long for our meal to be here. Haley really wants to listen to music. I still wish we had the opportunity to cancel out some once. Actually be pretty nice. I wonder if we can like ask our dad a little bit more. Um about the ranch. Maybe we should like ask him to pursue his dream job. Like what would that even be? Like, you know, Dad, you won't be here on the ranch with us forever. Like maybe you should do something that you really wanted to, to do. He's an interesting idea, Eli. I've been pondering what would give the most satisfaction in my work life. I'll let you know what I decide soon. Okay. I'm kind of wondering if it's going to be the, uh, like, <laughs> art career again. Because I feel like a lot of Sims default to that. Ooh, look at those steaks. Okay. Did we get our drink? Okay, great. We did. Everything looks pretty good. Why? Why? You were already sitting. Where are you going? <laughs> no. <laughs> Eli, sit over here. Why did you go over there? Tell a joke about horse butts? Okay. <laughs> you just ever do that. <laughs> oh, gosh. And then I did see the option to ask about getting a horse. So maybe his dad can give us a little bit of uh, tips or some pointers on how to do that, like where to go. We're new here. <laughs> We're not from here. Not what? <laughs> Look at her sleeping. Ma'am, you are on the job. <laughs> Is it like super slow here tonight? I mean, I feel like everybody probably has her food already. Yeah, you only have like three tables. <laughs> so she goes right ahead and take a nap. Small town. <laughs> Not you being a critic. Oh, Ellie. Oh, girl. The Frankenbeans. <laughs> They're going to be making a comeback. <laughs> All night, probably. It is getting pretty late, though, and Ellie has to start school tomorrow. So we will go ahead and wrap this up pretty quickly. Oh, there, there's some more. Um, there's Juniper and Umber. Mm, I think everybody's done their meal. Let's go ahead and end the meal. Oh, you want to go to the bathroom? Okay, that's fine. Oh, girl! Why are you insulting your grandfather as soon as your dad walks away? Uh. <laughs> Ellie! Ellie, what is the matter? I don't even think they gave her braces, so I might actually put that on her <laughs> and create a sim. Why are you being so mean to him? Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, you. Oh, they have bad compatibility. I thought they did have good compatibility. Is that is that what it is? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's go ahead and uh head home. <laughs> and were you there for that? Can you like yeah, discipline? Let's actually I don't know. Should we be strict or should we be calm with her? I mean, you have no right to be yelling at your grandfather. <laughs> Ailey, please. <laughs> Wait, get on her a little bit about that. She's like... Uh. Okay, now she has a fear of being inferior. Ailey never succeeds at anything. How is she ever supposed to make it in the world when everyone else is doing better in life? You shouldn't be yelling at your grandfather, hun. I think you'd just be doing that. My gosh. <laughs> I didn't make her a mean sim. She's definitely just self assured. Like, but maybe she's, you know, still feeling. Maybe she's still feeling uh, a little down and still, you know, in mourning a little bit and in, in grief. 
Uh, I mean, it's definitely... Ailey, please. All right, we got to go home. <laughs> you have to go to bed. Get ready for school tomorrow. Like, Eli's face is just like, I can't believe you were so rude to your grandfather. That is not the way I raised you, Ailey. And she's just like... I mean, technically, you both raised me. <laughs> it's like, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> it doesn't mean that doesn't give you the right to be rude. Not it raining again. I guess it's going to be a pretty rainy season. It's just fine. I mean, we got some produce going. Oh, my gosh. You need to apologize to your grandfather when we get home. <laughs> rude, Ailey. Rude. Okay, so they're home, so I probably will go ahead and see if, yeah, so I will go ahead and have Ailey apologize to her grandfather, because that was pretty rude of her, but, I mean, she's most likely going through a lot of emotions, and has been since she's been a toddler, I feel like, but, you know, I mean, I definitely don't expect Ailey to be perfect, <laughs> but she is going to have a lot to learn. And now she has a fear of being inferior. So, I mean, it says uh, she's afraid that she will never measure up and struggles with confidence. And when losing confidence, she will become tense. She will also become easily embarrassed when criticized or energized when their effort is praised. So I feel like... I won't say it's going to be super perfect, but it is going to be an interesting dynamic with the way that she's going to be raised by her father, uh, right with her grandfather alongside. So she doesn't have, you know, her mother around and that feminine presence. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to kind of get Ailey to be her own person a little bit and to kind of like branch out so she is going to have to go to school let's go ahead and send her alone turtle hatching season baby baby turtles are beginning to hatch what i've never seen that hello <laughs> i've never seen that that's so cute what <laughs> wow I've literally never seen that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Wow. Oh, I hope I've run into that, like, when I'm actually playing uh, in Sulani. But I will definitely go ahead and end this episode here, guys. So it is Monday morning. I am going to be having Eli work on a few things. Uh, when it comes to the farm here and maybe just seeing how many millions that we have now maybe while Ailey is out uh, at school today um, he will go ahead and head over to uh, the place where you will go ahead and buy some horses so I think that's what's on the agenda today but we do have a lot of are we getting a call already a food fight? <laughs> Ailey! Ailey started a food fight in the cafeteria, causing most of the students to join in. We're still cleaning up. Eli has, like, <laughs> not a whole lot of parenting skill. So, for this to be the only option, like, I'm kind of upset about that. <laughs> That's all we can say. What a natural leader. So now her empathy increases, but her responsibility decreases. I can't. All right, let's go ahead and finish washing this laundry up. Anyway, <laughs> but like I was saying, I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. We do have a lot of things uh, to get done today, but we will go ahead and pick those up in the next episode. And we will go ahead and check out what kind of horses there are to buy or adopt. So uh, be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.